A bond energy calculation allows us to work out whether the energy change during a chemical reaction is endothermic or exothermic, and how much energy will be absorbed or released to the surroundings as a result of the chemical reaction taking place. In the example I want to talk you through first here, this is hydrogen and chlorine reacting together to make hydrogen chloride. What you can see in the problem is that I've got the balance symbol equation at the top here, and then I've got the energy data here. In an exam or in any problem at GCSE level, you will always be given this data here. Now, AQA tend to show what the molecules look like as part of their question. So they would show you as well, possibly instead of the bond energy calculation, something that looked like this, that HH plus CLCL makes two H. CLs like that. So you can see the bonds. Now obviously every line like here, here and here, that represents a covalent bond that's going to be broken or made during this reaction. So how do we need to work out what's going on here? Well the energy change is equal to the energy needed to break bonds minus the energy needed to form bonds. So in this instance, the energy we need to break is all the energy associated with this side. So effectively what we can do is we can divide our page down like this, where this is the energy needed to break and this is the energy needed to form. So on this side, what we've got is the energy needed to break a HH and the energy needed to break a ClCl. So we've got a HH and a ClCl. And on this side, we've got two lots of HCl. So all we do is we go back to our table up here and we put the values in. So a HH, that is 436, plus the ClCl. The ClCl from the table is 242. And on this side, we have got two lots of HCl, which is two lots of 431. We then, with our trusty calculators, add the two together, so 436 and 242, to get a total on the left-hand side of 678. And on the right-hand side, two lots of 431 is 862. So going back to the equation here, the energy change is the energy need to break the bonds minus the energy need to form the bonds. What we're going to do is we're going to do 678 minus our 862. And that will be the final answer to our problem, which is minus 184. And our units, if you go all the way back to the table, you can see here our kilojoules per mole. So the final answer is minus 184 kilojoules per mole, and that's our final answer. So how does this work in the exam? Well, you're gonna get three marks. You get one mark for this, one mark for this, and one mark for this. So if you made a mistake on the left, but you got the right-hand part right, you got an error code forward mark, you can get two out of the three marks. This is a really nice uh, way of getting the marks. So I'm now gonna talk you through a second example uh, involving the combustion of methane. Okay, so here's our second example. In this example, we can see that we've got methane and oxygen reacting to make carbon dioxide and water. I've drawn out here what they look like, so CH4, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and H2O. Now, what I would tend to do with this is the first thing that really confuses students and makes them make the most errors is they forget about these balancing numbers here and here. So what we could do, do first, the most easiest way of doing this is to actually draw in the second of each of these molecules. So you can easily count the bonds, okay? So what we can see again now is we've got the stuff on the left and the stuff on the right. So what I'm gonna do again is I'm gonna do the energy needed to break and the energy needed to form. And remember, I'm counting the bonds. So here, I've got one, two, three, four lots of CH, and I've got one, two lots of O double bond O. 
And on this side, I've got one, two lots of C double bondo, and I've got one, two, three, four lots of O to H. Remember, we're counting the sticks in this instance. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my table of data, I'm going to put that into here. So I've got four lots of 413 from the CH plus two lots of the O double bondo 498. Now I tend to put brackets in there because that lets me see that this bit belongs to here and this bit belongs to here so I can keep an eye on exactly what's going on. Over here two lots of C double bondo so that is two lots of 805 and here we've got four lots of the OH which is 464. Okay, and again, this one responds to here, this one responds to here. So we get our calculator, and we put the numbers in. So four lots of 413 is 1,652. Two lots of 498 is 996. Two lots of 805 is 1,610. And four lots of 464 is 1,856, okay? Now, we add the two sides together, so 1,652 plus 996, and the total for this side is 2,648 kilojoules per mole. The total on this side, 1,610 plus 1,856, is 3,466 kilojoules per mole. And then we go back to our original calculation, which is the energy change is the energy needed to break minus the energy needed to form. So we're going to do 2,648 minus 3,466. And our final answer is going to be 2648 minus 3466 minus 818 kilojoules per mole. So what does this mean? Well, if we go back to what we did last time, which was the energy level diagram, so I just quickly sketch this, okay? Where this was time, and this was energy. If you remember, we start with reactants at a certain height, and over the course of the reaction, they change. So what do these numbers refer to? Well, the energy needed to break the bonds in the reactants, in this case 2,648, is the energy needed to go up here to the peak of the curve. So that from here to here, in this instance, is 2,648 kilojoules per mole. As it comes back down the other side, this number, 3,466 coming back down, that is the energy change with the energy is released to the products. Now what you can see here, this bit here from the top to the bottom, that is 3,466. And what we can see is that the energy to break is less than the energy need to give. So we end up with a difference between the reactions of the products which comes down like this, which corresponds to minus 818. So this is our energy change. And because the energy is going down, we've got this negative sign. This reaction is exothermic. Okay? And that is bond energy calculations.